Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to create a connection to Microsoft CRM. To do so, we go to the Tools menu and select the Connector Manager. The Connector Manager is responsible for holding all the connections to different databases in our organization. To create a new connection, we select the New Connector button and then provide a name for the connection we're going to create and select what type we're going to create. We're choosing Microsoft CRM 4.x or 2011. Click OK and that brings up the connector editor that's specific to Microsoft CRM. The first choice that you can make is the authentication type. I'm going to choose Active Directory because that's what we're selected. The next choice we have to make is the URL that we have for accessing our CRM system. So I'm going to paste in the URL for our system. And we have to specify the credentials for logging into this system. And the, for Active Directory, we need to also specify the domain of the user. Once we do that, click Get Organization Names. We'll pull up the organizations that we have available to us. And Innerport will display the list of organizations that this URL has available to it. Select one of the organizations, then click Get the User List. Once we've got the user list, we can select the default user. This user will be used for creating new entities in the system. It's recommended that you choose the same user as your login entity unless you want to specify a different default. The reason for specifying the same as your login entity is when a record is created, it is created with the ownership of the login entity that you've used. If you specify a different default, the ownership has to be changed after the record is created. So there is a slight performance hit associated with that. We have some other options available to us. Ticking this box allows Innerport to add a new field attribute to each entity called IP Import ID. That's used to enable you to store a, a unique identifier for records that you import. You can also, by default, have Innerport create new pick list values. So what it will do is when it's importing, it will check if you're importing into a pick list, it will check if the pick list value exists, and if not, it will add it to the pick list. Once we've done that, we can click Test Connection. It comes up and tells us if the connection was successful. We click OK, and you can see that this connection is now created and is available in our connector library. If we need to modify it, we can go back into the library and just double click it. It brings up the connector editor again, and we can make any changes that we want to do. Thank you very much for taking the time to have a look at this, and please browse the other videos we have in our library.